the structure of the long bone. In this structure of the long bone, here, in this,
that encloses with the encloses with the endosteum this lamella is inner circumferential lamella this is outer circumferential lamella and this is inner circumferential ferential lamella outer circumferential lamella is encloses with the periosteum inner circumferential lamella encloses with the endosteum endosteum between the outer circumferential lamella and inner circumferential lamella the haversian systems are present haversian system is present in between these two this is the part of the haversian system haversian system in this haversian system here in this haversian system that contains haversian system nothing but osteon in this haversian system that contains haversian canals this is haversian canals haversian canals are present here the between the haversian canals here these haversian canals are surrounded by canal oculi See, this is one Haversian canal. This is Haversian canal. Haversian canal. This Haversian canal, it is surrounded by, it is surrounded by the concentric lamellae. These are known as concentric lamellae. These are known as concentric lamellae. Concentric lamellae, the Haversian canal is surrounded by the concentric lamellae. In this concentric lamellae, it so these are. The concentric lamellae, these concentric lamellae, those are surrounded by, these Haversian canal is surrounded by the concentric lamellae. The number of the concentric lamellae are three only. In this concentric lamellae, a fluid filled spaces are present. The fluid filled spaces present inside are on the concentric lamellae. These are known as lacinae. These are known as lacinae. Lacinae means the fluid filled spaces are known as lacinae. From the lacinae, a minute pores are releases. These minute pores connects one concentric lamellae with another concentric lamellae, which provides this Haversian system becomes rigid or becomes stronger. Sometimes these Haversian canal also connects with these minute pores. These are known as canal oculi. Canal oculi. So the minute pores of the 
of the bone that connects one concentric lamellae with the another concentric lamellae, those are called as canalochili. In between the Haversian system, in between the Haversian system, the spaces are present in between these Haversian system is known as interstitial lamellae. These are interstitial interstitial lamellae. And this Haversian canal that contains one artery and uh, one lymphatic vessel, one lymphatic vessel and one vein. So this Haversian canal that contains an artery and an uh, lymphatic vessel and a vein. This is a Haversian canal. Finally, some part of the Wokeman canals. These Wokeman canals also connects with the Wokeman canals also connects with the marrow cavity. This is bone marrow cavity. The Wokeman canals connects with the this bone marrow with the marrow cavity with this Haversian canal also. This is Wokeman's canal. The Wokeman's canal connects the marrow cavity with the Haversian system. So this is the structure of the Haversian system. The Haversian system, it is located between the outer circumferential and inner circumferential lamellae. The Haversian canal that includes the, sorry, the Haversian system or the ostium that includes Haversian canal with the lamellae and canada kiwi. In the middle of every Haversian system that contains one Haversian canal, this Haversian canal is surrounded by the concentric lamellae. The number of the concentric lamellae is 3. Maximum it is 3. So in this concentric lamellae, the fluid filled spaces are present. Those are called lacunae. From the lacunae, a mini pores are releases that connects one concentric lamellae with the another concentric lamellae. And it gives a support or the strength of the rigidity to the bone. So it is located between these two. Outer part is periosteum and the inner one is endosteum. Inner one is endosteum. Between the periosteum and endosteum, we will see the outer and inner circumferential lamellae. The matrix of the bone. And between these two, we will see the Haversian system or the ostia. Haversian system of the ostia. So in this bone, in this bone, 65 percentage, 65 percentage of the bone is inorganic substances. So the ratio of the inorganic substances in the bone is 65 percentage. Whereas the organic substances of the bone is about 35 percentage. So the bone value, it is the total volume of the bone, the inorganic component occupies 65 percentage. Whereas the organic components are 35 percentage. The organic components mean it is calcium. It is forms in the form of calcium and hydroxyapatite hydroxyapatite hydroxy the calcium is present in the bone in the form of in the form of crystals crystals and hydroxyapatite